Okay, so I'm out here with Valor and I just trimmed him. I'm working on a grid system for the hoof that, um, a way of reading the hoof that incorporates, so if you see these lines on his hoof, what it is is I've followed the horn tubules down and the intertubular horn rings around the foot. And, uh, I'll be, I'll be doing some videos on that, but it, it tells you a lot about how uh, you're trimming. But anyway, now his toes are, well, if, if the, the wall wasn't beveled, they'd be three inches long. So they're just a little shorter than three inches long in the dorsal wall from the coronary band to the ground. But uh, anyway, a lot of times I just like to, uh, I'll just stand and just watch the footwork. Um, now, a lot of times, you can't just look at this foot as one object. Remember, you're dealing with the exterior hoof capsule, an internal foot connected to a, a big, heavy horse. Valor here, he's about, I'd say he's close to 16 hands. He's a pretty good sized horse. And uh, so you're dealing with two objects, a very light, flimsy hoof capsule and a big, heavy horse connected to the foot that's inside that with thousands of pounds of weight. Okay, and of course running, slamming that foot on the ground, that's even more. But the thing, um, where I believe scientists and researchers make the mistake is uh, as far as understanding weight bearing and all kinds of different, how the hoof works, um, things like that, is that I don't think they really consider the whole suspensory apparatus. Okay, and what I mean by that is you have um, the coffin bone, the short, the navicular bone, the short pastern bone, and the long pastern bone um, in, the, in the hoof capsule going up to the ankle. It's called, uh, uh, the coffin bone is called P3, then you have the navicular bone, then you have uh, P2, or the short pastern bone and then you have P1, which is the long pastern bone. And uh, so the thing you'll notice is that when a horse walks, when, when things are right, okay, um, P, let's see, P, <laughs> P, P2, 1 and P2, okay, descend down. And the, the more the horse is running, the more the pastern will de descend down. And if you watch a horse running, uh, you'll see this here go all the way to the ground like that, spring down and up. And so just standing here watching this horse eat and just watching the way the whole suspension system there in the pastern and how the pastern will descend down between the lateral cartilages on each side. And if you remember, the lateral cartilage is right here. And in the anatomy videos, you'll see how this is made to descend down between them down here. Hope I'm getting that. But anyway, I was sitting here, or standing here, letting him eat and just watching the feet and the way the feet fall, um, how they bear weight on the ground. And um, I want to just say that one reason why uh, barefoot horses have tremendous traction, way more traction than shoes. You know, if they try and tell you that um, shoes give a horse traction, that's BS, you know, and then they put big calks on them and all that does is is mess a horse's legs up. But anyway, watching him here, if you watch what the foot does, okay, he sets it down, and you'll see it in soft dirt, and then the toe will descend a little lower and dig into the ground. Just from setting the foot down and slightly putting his weight forward, say, and uh, so anyway, I had him walk through the mud over here, 
Okay, you can stay there. There we go. Stay there. No, 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 no. Come here. Eat the grass. Come here. Come here. Turn around. Now you're going to mess up my footprints. There you go. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So anyway, I had some footprints. I had him do some footprints here. Now where was that really good footprint? They had him. Okay. I think it's here. Here you can see. This is this is the front foot. And here you can see how the toe will dig into the ground. See, and that's just standing and walking very slow. That toe just naturally digs into the ground. And uh, you can see how the dirt comes up underneath here. I mean, there is a lot of traction here in this foot. Look at that. Let's see if I can find another one. <coughs> Let's see. I thought I had a better one than that. Do, 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 do. Okay. Here, here again, you can see how the toe digs in. See, that is what gives the horse oops, its traction. I, I can't see. You can't tell where you're aiming this stupid camera. But anyway, I thought that was very very interesting. There's back foot right there. Um, I guess that's all I had to say. Okay, bye-bye.